Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Wanaka and today I am here to film my soft glam makeup look. So this is basically the makeup look I do whenever I'm going for an event. So um, you can replicate this if you're going for a wedding, a party, or you just want to dress up, glam up and look your best. So if you want to see how I went from this to this, keep on watching. <laughs> So I pulled you closer so you can have a closer look at what I'm doing on my face. I already did my skincare but um, what's left is just for me to apply my moisturizer. I am using the Tatcha water cream. It's really good, it's water based and it's really lightweight and it's um, perfect for people with oily skin like myself. Just going with that amount and apply all over my skin. I just love how this melts into my skin like water. So the next thing I'll be doing is applying my primer. I am using the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. This is really good for oily skin. Just warming it up at the back of my hand and then uh, just tapping lightly. I'm not rubbing because if you rub you would see your primer balling up and you don't want that. I am using the Estee Lauder Double Wear stay in place makeup i recently got hooked on this foundation i know i'm late to the party but um, it is an oily girl's holy grail foundation and i am loving it so i went in with my foundation i'm just gonna go in with a bit more to cover um anywhere that needs more coverage um just here around my chin so the next thing I like to do after my foundation is to contour and to contour I am using the Fenty Beauty Match Stick in Espresso. I usually like to get it on my brush. I don't like going in um, directly with this product because it's easier to just buff it into your skin uh, with a brush. So I like going in brush and then place it on my... Contour line. Hey, I love how it warms up my face and brings back the dimension to my face. I'll also take a little bit of this contour shade to contour my nose, so I don't want it to be too harsh. So I will tap some at the back of my hand and then contour my nose. So I went ahead to apply my concealer under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my chin and my forehead. Um, to conceal and highlight, I am using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in shade Amande. I am using my Damp Beauty Blender to blend this out. Guys, it's really difficult <laughs> filming this. It's hard, I have to admit it. I keep forgetting to start recording. Okay. Um, I'm really hoping I get the hang of this soon because I hate the fact that I am losing video clips. Okay, I am blending this out making sure that I press this into my skin I really really love this concealer I love how easy it is to blend I love how creamy it is okay I think I might need a bit more under my eyes Okay, 
does anyone else make that blending face like <laughs> i always do that i don't know i have to stop doing that it's really ugly so after blending out my concealer i like to go in with the same brush i used uh, for my foundation and i just like to blend everything together just so we don't have any hash line i'm also going over it with the beauty blender to blend everything on my face together no hash line zone i'm going in with the um fenty beauty cream blush i'm using the shade daiquiri deep okay i know i butchered that but um i'm using the fenty beauty cream blush focus okay i've been loving this lately i like how it just makes me feel like i'm glowing from within <laughs> Let's see if the camera picks up the color. Yeah, it's like a really nice orangey shade. So I'm going in with my Beauty Blender still. Just taking some of that product at the back of the Beauty Blender, tapping up the excess and I am applying it at the highest point of my cheekbone. Oops, can you just see that? Oh my goodness. Love, 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 love. Taking it upwards. Okay, with some more. Okay, that's enough. We don't want to go overboard. We don't want to be looking like an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> just making sure it's well blended okay so i'm gonna move to the next step right now which is setting all of this cream with powder so to set my under eye i like to first go in with the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder i'm using the shade three dark i really like it you can tell i'm already heating pan okay let's make that ugly face again <laughs> i love how smooth it makes under my eye look it's like gives me this airbrush look okay going set the other eye i like to also use that to set my forehead con sorry my forehead highlight my chin the bridge of my nose so after setting my under eye with the charlotte tilbury powder i like to go in with a loose setting powder so i'm using this loose powder from chanel beauty in shade 04 this is also another really good smooth looking powder lightly go over my face with this powder next thing i like to do is to bronze my face to try to bring back that warmth into my face I uh, use the Fenty Beauty bronzer in shade Mocha Mami. Also like to use a bit of that bronzer to contour my nose. So I'm just going to go in lightly. And contour the beginning of my nose and then bring whatever product I have down 
So now that I'm done with the skin work, I am gonna get off camera now and do my brows. I plan on having another detailed video where I show you how I get my brows done. So I'll get off camera now, quickly do my brows and we'll come back for the eyeshadow application. So we're done with our brows as you can see. And for my eyeshadow, I'm thinking of doing a soft smoky look, if you know what I mean. For that, I'm gonna be using two of my favorite palettes. It's the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette and the Pat McGrath Mothership Palette. So this is one of the Mothership Palettes. Can't remember the name. I think it's the Mothership, is this eight? Can't remember. I'll leave the link in the description. So I'm going with this light color on my lid and a bit of this one on my crease. So this is like a dark brownish purple. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe the shade. I'm just blending this in my crease slightly. These eyeshadows are really creamy, really pigmented. They're like the best eyeshadows in the world for me. Don't quote me. Try it for yourself. <laughs> So next, I plan to use a nude color on my lid. So before I go in with my lid color, I went ahead and applied uh, my primer from Anastasia Beverly Hills just lightly. Um, I don't usually go in with a lot of primer. I just dab it all over my lid. I would usually do this before I start applying my eyeshadow, but I got carried away. <laughs> I guess I was overexcited. So next I am applying the lead shade, which is that light shade. I'm applying that on my eyelid. Okay, I'm just pulling this upwards into my crease. Going back with that same blending brush, I'm just blending in that brown into the light shade I just applied on my eyelid. Okay, I'm just going to repeat the same step on the other eye. So I'm going to take a smudge brush and smudge that dark shade on my waterline. Basically just repeating the same thing that I have on top I'll do that on the other eye so I can decide to stop here but I really want to smoke out the eye just a tad bit so I'll take the dark shade or the black from the Huda Beauty palette I'll just show you the shade that I am using. So I'm going in with a black shade here. Using the same smudge brush, I'm just gonna go really close to my lash line. And just smudge a bit of that black. So I'm not going all the way in, I'm just doing this at the outer part of my lash line, of my lower lash line. Perfect. Doing the same thing on the other eye. Then I'm just going to smudge my lash line here. Just repeating the same thing I did at the bottom. And then I'm just going to drag whatever is left on the brush upwards. So it creates a smoky effect. To line my waterline, I am using this black um, eye pencil from Tom Ford Beauty. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I'll be using the Huda Beauty Liquid Eyeliner to line my top lash line. So after lining my eyes, I'm going to lightly coat my lashes with a mascara. For falsies, I am going in with the Lily Lashes in style Mykonos. I'm using the ABH Blush Trio. I'm going in with a peachy shade over the area that I applied the cream blush on. This will just help me bring out that blush shade. That I had applied earlier. Next I'll be adding some highlights to my cheekbone. I'm using the MAC Gold Deposit for this. Okay I don't want to go overboard so I think that's fine. So next is my lipstick. I'm going to line my lips using the MAC Lip Pencil in shade Chestnut. I like going in with a dark brown first before I apply any lipstick color. That's just what I do. So I'm going to go in using my favorite peachy nude lipstick. This is the Chanel Soft Coral. So I like this product because it has the liquid lipstick on one side and it has a clear gloss on the other side. So guys, if you're looking for a lipstick that would not transfer even if you have a mask on, you want to get your hands on one of these Chanel lipsticks. Get your hands on one of these and they have beautiful shades as well. So now that the lipstick has dried down, I'm going to go in with the lip gloss on the other side and just apply it all over my lips. So I'm going to let my hair down and show you the final look. I'm really excited I got to film this tutorial for you guys. I love how everything came together from the eye look, the lipstick. Oh my god, it's making me want to dress up and go out. But unfortunately, it's past midnight, so I'm just going to go to the bathroom and wash all of this off, sadly. <laughs> so if you like this video, please, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button to keep up with my videos where I'll be sharing more makeup tips and tricks and fun tutorials. Thanks for watching guys, bye bye.